Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Centerpiece from Urban Artifact is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So today we are going to try Centerpiece from Urban Artifact. This is a pineapple slash strawberry Midwest fruit tart. Um, here lately in Michigan, we've started getting some Urban Artifact beers and I have not picked some of the, let's say the first ones up just because I've had so many other ones. So I passed, but now that I've drank through my stash, um, so this is the first one that I've had from them. Um, so on the can, like I said, it says pineapple, strawberry, Midwest fruit tart, 7.9% ABV, 3.3 pH. Uh, canned on 9-1-19. I did pick this up yesterday at Hoffman. They just got it in, I believe. Uh, but this is December. So let's go ahead and open it, get it into a glass, and see what we think. I was going to look at Untap just to see what uh, style they put this one in. Whoa. I guess I should have shook it up a little bit more. Uh, big chunks of yeast did come out. Okay, say so fruited sour. So we should be good. Yeah, I still have some floating in there. But yeah, just the yeast and everything just sunk all the way to the bottom. So, uh, we do have an off-white translucent, almost pinkish head, not even a quarter of a finger. I'm guessing that's from the sourness of the beer. It is dissipating quickly. Dirty Glass Mafia is no hype, would say. Um, color. I would say, like, strawberry banana color. Like a red, puke, orange, peach color. It doesn't look good, but for, what do I say, pineapple strawberry, yes, I could kind of see that, but to me, it's more of like a strawberry banana smoothie color than anything. Hopefully, I didn't disgust you too bad. Let's go ahead and smell. I pick up the the sour the the sourness from like the strawberries like a a strawberry smoothie type but not as sweet. It definitely has like that kettled sour um, that is in most beers uh, that I pick up. That that kettle sour strawberry is what I pretty much get out of it. I don't think pineapples really have a smell when they get into beer, like real pineapple. I, I know um, you could say, well, when you use hops, yes, you can get pineapple out of the smell. Yes, but that's not putting pineapple into the fermenter and getting pineapple. At least I haven't had a beer like that. So yeah, I would say sour strawberry tartness is what I get out of the smell. Let's go ahead and taste. You get the pineapple, it's like a crushed pineapple strawberry with some sourness, tartness in there. Uh, let me take another drink. Thick. It's definitely, yeah, like a, a crushed pineapple with a hint of strawberry, but sour is like kicked up i wouldn't say overall the sourness is very high but it, it it balances out that strawberry and that pineapple taste in there yeah it's like that that crushed pineapple strawberry 
and then like the sourness is like in the middle of those two it like doesn't hang around it goes through with the taste the sourness goes away then you get that that pineapple strawberry aftertaste pretty good for me i would probably have to go with a four out of five i want the i want the sourness to be more dominant and stay around a little bit longer but that's just because i like soured beers um but i think everything else is done well i i wish the pineapple was kicked up a little bit more since that's what's on the can first to me it almost tastes like the the strawberries are the dominant flavor and should have been called out first um, instead of the pineapple the the strawberries taste or taste that i'm getting is like the 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 dried strawberries because those are a tiny bit tart and that's kind of what this is but you get that sourness in there so yeah i would have to go with a four out of five on this one let's check untapped um so joe had this um his was from eleven twenty four. so i'm gonna have to watch his video if he posted it um five of my friends have had this average 4.2 out of five uh, a little over 3,500 people have checked it in, average 4.1 out of 5. Joe gave it a 4.25. Um, fairly tart with a nice blend of pineapple and strawberry notes. Probably my favorite from the series so far. Uh, brewed with uh, 1,500 pounds of pineapple, 1,500 pounds of strawberries per 30, um, what is it? barrels uh for somebody had it in a hot slam glass greg did um nice tartness a pinch of sour strawberry pineapple so uh mike is saying kind of the same i mean i'm i understand he just put it on there but you said strawberry pineapple i'll have to go watch joe's video you should too the beer patrol go watch his video after uh you finish mine to see what he thought i believe he posted it i can't remember i watched so many beer reviews um, but I'm going to take this and go to the computer and watch his now. But yeah, definitely a good one. But I think that strawberry comes through more than the pineapple. So the pineapple, so the strawberry should be on the can first and then the pineapple. And I think that pineapple needs to be up more. I love fresh pineapple. I hate canned pineapple, but I, I, I want more pineapple from this one. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.